What is up everyone? If you're watching this video and new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Also, if you end up liking this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. So I am so sorry guys because I know it's been a long time since I've last posted a video. Um, well uh, it's actually been like a really, really long time. Learning how to speed cube takes a lot of practice and dedication. It took me about three to four months to get the hang of it. And my first record that I was really proud of was one minute. I kept practicing every day and I got about five seconds better every single day. And that's just me. Some people take longer. But today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a, a Rubik's Cube in the same method I'm showing you right now. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's do some Rubik's Cube solving. Alright, so first step is to buy a cube. Um, if you don't have a cube, uh, you can go on Amazon, uh, you can buy any cube you like. If you prefer a smooth or fast cube for speed cubing, then I would go with a GAN cube. This is a magnetic one, so it's a bit more expensive. I got this for around 30 bucks. Uh, you can get them for cheaper. Uh, all right, but anyways, so now that you have bought your cube, um, Let's get into the tutorial. All right, so first step on the beginner method is to solve what we call a daisy. So the daisy is where we have the white edges on the top side of the yellow. So uh, let's just say, so that is a daisy. because so we have four petals and the middle of the flower. So, before we do that, to get familiar with the cube, uh, these center pieces, they will always stay in their spot and order. So if you ever mix up your cube and it falls apart, just know that uh, green and red are together, red and blue, blue and orange, and then orange and green and white and yellow are always on the bottom. So, to get Daisy, there isn't really an algorithm to do this. You can just do it by looking. So, uh, I can obviously see that this edge piece, if I, if I turn it up, it'll pop right into place. Same with this edge piece. And uh, let's just say that it's here. I can simply just turn the top and it's in place. So here again, this is easy. This is just, yeah, so that's solved. All right, let's just say there are some on the bottom that I wanna get to the top. So there are a few ways to do this. I usually just turn it twice all the way to the top, turn it twice, and then this goes here, so I just turn it. We're going to turn this edge piece up to here, and then you're done. So practice that a few times, get familiar with it. So once you're done with that, uh, we're going to move on to... The second part, which is getting the white cross. We have to line up these edge pieces with the center piece. So this is already lined up. So we're just gonna turn that to the bottom where the white is. And this is lined up. So we're gonna turn that to the bottom. These are not lined up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line them up 
sure that's lined up. Turn to the bottom, and this is lined up. So I can turn it to the bottom. All right, once you're done with that, uh, we're gonna be solving. All right, so once you're done with that, we're gonna be solving these corner pieces. So uh, if you find, so this corner piece, it's gonna go right here. So we have the red, green, white, red, green, white. So there is a very simple algorithm for this. All right, so pretty much if this corner is above the slot that you're gonna put it in, you are gonna go up, left, down, and then there you have it. Up, left, down, right. Very simple algorithm, or it's also known as R, U, R prime, U prime. All right, so for example, if we have, so we have this corner piece, this corner piece goes here, so it might take you one time or twice or even more to get this corner piece in, so up, left, down, right, it's not in place, up, left, down, right. Now it should go in place, up, left, down, right. Now, all three of these are in place, and now we're just gonna have to do the last one. As you can see, this corner piece has to go right here. So we're just gonna do that same thing until it pops into place. Here is another example. If your corner ends up like this, here's what you can do. You can simply just turn the cube this way so your white piece is facing left and you can do the up left down right but with your left hand which is called the lefty alg so it's the same thing so it's just up right down left and that's in place so again Right side is up, left, down, right. Left side is up, right, down, left. By the way, if you want, you could just keep doing righty alg until it pops in place. But what I'm trying to say is that it is a lot quicker if you just turn it this way and do lefty alg once. That will uh, give you a better time. All right. So for this next step, we are going to be solving these edge pieces. So we have a red and green edge piece. So we can look around and we can see that this edge piece needs to go right here. So in order to do that, what you wanna do is line up your color to your center piece. And then since we're putting it here, we're gonna turn it the opposite way. And since we turned it right, we're gonna do lefty alg. So up, right, down, left, and then turn, and then righty alg. Up, left, down, right. And is it in, and it's in place. All right, so for this one, it's the same thing we line up this color with the centerpiece. Since we're putting it here, we're gonna turn it the opposite way. And then since we turned it right, we're gonna do the lefty alg. So up, right, down, left. We're gonna turn, we're gonna do up, left, down, right. And there you go. So, if instead it's not on this side, but on this side, you're just gonna do the same. So since we're gonna be solving it right here, 
we are just going to turn it the opposite way. And since, and since we turned it left, we're gonna do the righty elbow. So up, left, down, right, turn this way, and then lefty elbow. Up, right, down, left, and it pops in place. Now for this, it's the same thing. So we're gonna turn it left. Since we turned it left, we're gonna do righty elbow. So up, left, down, right, turn it this way, lefty elbow, up, right, down, left. All right, if your edge piece is like this, then you're just going to have to, because obviously it is in place, but it's not solved. So what I do, I'm not sure if this is the correct way, but this is what I use. I just do righty elg, and then going back to solving the corner pieces, this white piece, you just turn it this way so it's facing this way and do lefty elg. So that this is still in place and this is out of place. So then we can just use the steps that we just learned. So I turn it the opposite way, righty elg, turn it, lefty elg. All right, now we are going to solve the cross. So this is, so this step is called the yellow cross. So basically if you already end up with an L, then that's good. So you're gonna turn it to the top left corner. So it's just like this. And from here, you're going to turn the front down. And once it's like that, don't turn the cube like this. Just leave it like this and do righty alg and put it back up. Now we have a line. So this is good, you wanna keep it like this. We're gonna turn it again, the front again. We're gonna do righty alg one more time. And then you can see that this yellow piece can simply just go up there. So we just turn it once and we have the yellow cross. All right, so my trick for doing this is we'll just do the same steps. So turn the front, right, and do righty alg. And I usually don't turn it back because that's just a waste of time because all you do is just do that. But when I'm in this, I can already see that there is a line and I've already turned this front so I can just do righty alg twice and turn it back. So I can show you that again in normal speed. All right, now that we have done that, we are going to, okay. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you don't have any yellow edge pieces on the top and you just have a center, just turn the front and do righty alg, turn it back, and then you should have an L, and then you can put it to the top left corner. All right, so for the next step, we are going to be lining up these edge pieces to these center pieces. So we just have to look around and we can turn it and try to get as much solved, as much of them solved and so far I have two. So these two are not solved and these two are. So since these two are solved, you're going to turn the whole cube so that one is so that one is facing to the right and one is facing behind us. So now we are going to do a different algorithm. It's not the righty or lefty alg, but we're going to go up, left, down, left, up, and then bring this white piece 
all the way back, turn it down, and then turn this once, and then you have all of them solved. All right, so again, you're going to look for the edge pieces, so only these two are solved. We're gonna have one facing right and behind us. We're gonna go up, left, down, left, up, turn this white piece all the way back and turn it down and then turn it once and then all of them are solved. So the last step, we are just going to look for these corner pieces. So as you can see, this is a blue, orange, and yellow piece. It is already in place, but it's not solved. So that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, since this is the only corner piece we can find, um, we're gonna have it to the bottom right corner, and we are going to go left, up, right, up, left, down, right, down. All right, and so since that didn't do anything, we're just gonna do it again. Right, up, left, up, right, down, left, down. And then we have these two solved, but these are in place, but not solved. So in this case, since all of them are in place, we're gonna turn the cube upside down and we see that this is in place. So we're gonna keep it like this. We're gonna do righty alg until it's in place. And don't turn the whole cube like this or that's just gonna mess it up but we're just gonna turn the bottom until it's here. So we just solved the blue piece, so we're now gonna keep it like that. Turn this here and do righty out again. And then this is where the most satisfying part of solving a cube. And there you have it guys, your first or second cube solved. But anyways, if you guys keep practicing this algorithm and this method, you can become a speed cuber like I am. I am not like those pros that can solve cubes in like, you know, three seconds, which is the new world record. But I am still a very fast cube solver. So I'm gonna show you a little preview and a little short vid of me timing myself. So you can see the timer here. You can get these cube timers on Amazon or anywhere else, but yeah. It's really hard to solve through a camera because I'm looking at the camera right now just to make sure I can get it in film.